Yo, yo, check it out. It's your favorite producer, favorite producer, your boy Dame Grease in the building. Vake a lot, lot music. You're watching G4 TV. You know what it is. About to give you a little sneak peek and I know I'm saying the next big superstar you ever seen in your life. Name Mino, aka Mr. Burns, out that Harlem World Click. Check it out. Ha! Yeah! Turn the mic up. Yeah! It's me, no. G4 TV. Oh man, vacant lot all day. Mr. Burns, Mr. B, all of yo. These niggas ain't hot, so you can knock that off. And your so called bitch about to knock that off. The ice game up, call me Jack Frost. Hit the frost on the paws, pop the clutch in them all. Nigga cold as the pole in the winter. Taking niggas beats and beat them up is what I'm into. Thinking that it ain't, it really is a difference. Class is in session, everybody got the tension, pay attention. Spitting that traga, goo goo gaga, bar bar woo woo. That's how you do. No blue magic, this that voodoo. I need my. See you niggas at the finish line Why bump be talking greasy like that How he switches flow so easy like that What that nigga said, he be right back We don't play that Nigga, we spray that thing, that ring that Get you gone Drop a mulling top off just to get things going Real beef don't stop This shit keep going Till the whole cow's gone All your pals gone Mother, father, sister, brother, auntie, uncle gone Niggas don't want beef Niggas writing songs For we cooking with me Write your wrongs Cause I'ma send you to your maker Get ready for the makeup Rat! Mr. Burns Me no Vacant lot G4 TV Harlem, that's how we get it in. G4, let's get it, Mr. Burns. Yeah. Uh. Uh, uh. I love it. Yeah. Uh. G4 TV all day, every day. Holla back. We always been, how you say it, um, when it's a freestyling and growing up in Harlem, you know, we always been different guys, you know, running around freestyling, you know, when everybody, they hear rap, they try to write the paper, but I'm going to keep it real official, y'all going to get real official. The first time we exposed to true freestyling was with us and I be Vic a lot, you know what I'm saying, we had a battle with Mesa Cam and um, Big Allen Bloodshed back in the day, we was all about 14, 15 in um, St. Nicholas Park, we just was going at it back and forth, and that's how we all known each other. From there, like, we all actually grew to be, you know, substantial legends in this game. Me, probably the first time I witnessed it firsthand, I think it was at a um, 201 jam. It was Lord Finesse, Red Man, Biz, all of them was there. And Lord just went in with this verse that was so crazy, like, and I probably was 13. During the um, real era of the mixtapes, when they was first starting, like, Grease was a part of a lot of the freestyling that was going on as far as the locks killing it, mace killing it, it's, that's when Clue was like the biggest DJ. So like it was first hand really for us. A lot of the stuff, he might have been there in the studio, it might have been one of his beats they was freestyling over. It was just like, um, that's when it really became big. Now, in the technical terms of freestyling, it wasn't always that because freestyling is n unwritten lyrics, you know what I'm saying? But when it comes like ciphers, that became the new freestyle. So just, that's what it was. We done original songs for freestyles. You know what I'm saying? Niggas that saw this song, the classic song that's out was a freestyle. But, you know what I'm saying? People don't know. The original Get At Me Dog, which had X locks, was a freestyle. You know what I'm saying? So at first it started out to, you know what I'm saying? We just giving up, not the traditional radio song, but just doing it probably with no hook and making that a freestyle. It started out like original tracks. Then it transformed to, you know what I'm saying, cats going over tracks of people that have been out there. Me personally, I kind of don't dig them because they don't really show no one, none of you. But some persons, when they do freestyles over tracks that's out there, like, you know what I'm saying, quote unquote, you know, you know what I'm saying, quote unquote, a 50 Cent, how he did it, you know what I'm saying, they actually take the tracks and make their own tracks. To me, I appreciate that. I give a grease sample approval because there's more creativity to it, you know, but, um, Sometimes, like, cats just, like, put a beat on and just rhyme and, and try to emulate the person who's on it. And, like, that's, like, it's actually a waste of um, hard drop space, <laughs> you ask me, because it's, like, showing no originality and it's, like, really nothing to do. So you got to be real precious about when you do the freestyle and make sure that you, you are putting that ability that even the person originally tracking it is, they can hear it be like, 
he went in. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? And give respect to it. You got to take it as uh, elevation of it. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. It's like the graduation of freestyle. Now you have to write your hottest because it's yeah. more about the punchline. It's always been about the punchline, but now it's like they take it a little more literally. So they write it up and they get ready. It's more scripted, but it's, it also comes with growth. So it's, that's, it's, it's the same thing.